At the summit, leaders of the G8, emerging economies, African countries, and international organizations signed the L'Aquila Food Security Initiative, AFSI, outlining their common vision and approach to global food security and committing to globally mobilize US dollars 20 billion over three years through a coordinated comprehensive strategy that is focused on sustainability, sustainable agricultural development while keeping a strong commitment to ensure adequate emergency food aid assistance. This, this initiative, which will be managed by the World Bank through a multi-donor trust, multi trust fund, aims to increase agricultural productivity and improve access to markets in low-income countries through medium and long-term investments. It is, it is going to be a major support and will provide a thrust to the ongoing activities implemented by governments and key stakeholders throughout the developing world. We are pleased to see the advances made since the L'Aquila Summit in July and, the particular commitment, and in particular the commitment by the G20 in the Peace Summit where additional countries affirmed their shared approach to achieving food security and stated to work with donor and target countries, foundations and private sector actors to further develop the implementation plan for this initiative. In 2009, WFP signed a crucial agreement with the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, ICA, to contribute to the efforts being made in response to the crisis and to particularly take action on agricultural production of poor farmers, food access and climate change mitigation and adaptation. In the context of this agreement and considering the importance to link agricultural production with improved access at household level, WFP is proposing all key actors to join the WFP ECA collaboration in the Purchase for Progress initiative to help small-scale agricultural produce, producers generate income and have access to markets to sell their products at competitive prices. The initiative, supported by the World Bank, ECA governments, UN agencies and private foundations, creates an advantageous situation for all participants. As it has been stated by the WFP Executive Director, Josette Sheeran, we help our beneficiaries who have little or no food and at the same time we help local agricultural producers who have little or no access to markets where they can sell their harvests. Building on the experience of purchasing 80% of its food in developing countries, WFP has demonstrated that this strategy stimulates local economies and gives agricultural producers an incentive to increase the level and quality of their production. For example, in 2008, WFP invested almost 230 million US dollars in food purchases in Latin America and the Caribbean. The ultimate goal of the local purchases, uh, purchases strategy is that the smallholder farmers will increase their incomes through increased yields from utilizing better technology and through better prices for their produce. This, the initiative will also focus on developing local opportunities for the processing, management, storage, distribution and marketing of the foods produced, all with a view to increasing the availability of nutritious products in local markets. This will guarantee the project's sustainability and improve the quality of life of small agricultural producers and their families. The key objective of local purchase interventions will be to connect smallholder holder farmers production to nutritional and social protection programs as supplementary feeding programs, school feeding, etc. implemented by WFP and national programs managed directly by governments. The stable demand for food commodities deriving from the nutritional and food security components of social protection schemes will ensure a sustainable market for local smallholder farmers and consequently optimize the overall domestic social benefit of these programs. Our vision is that by 2015, agricultural markets will have developed in such a way that many more low-income or smallholder farmers will produce food surpluses, sell them at a fair price and increase their incomes. With this cash, 
The farmers will then able to purchase services such as education and health care that will improve their livelihoods. WFP acknowledges that there is the need to continue working together in response to the crisis in order to help vulnerable people to overcome hunger and restore livelihoods sustainability. And we'd like to thank once again the organizers for the kind invitation to participate in this conference, which will certainly provide important conclusions and recommendations for us all. Thank you.